Hi, Michael Young here for this week's video blog. This week I wanted to talk to you about making your small business appear bigger than what it really is. What's really interesting is that for small business, one of the challenges you have is sometimes very larger uh, businesses and firms don't really want to deal with you because they think you're too small. But quite often, small businesses are more innovative, um, we're more flexible, and we're able to make changes and adjust our products and services to meet customer needs uh, as they constantly change. Larger businesses, on the other hand, tend not to be so flexible, tend to be a bit more monolithic and bureaucratic, and to make changes take a substantial amount of time. But the challenge is that as a small business, uh, there's still this perception that you're only a one person organization, or as a small business, you just don't have the capacity or capability to do the work. And so sometimes making yourself appear to be bigger than what you really are is a key, uh, a key approach. Uh, what we did a number of years ago to do this and to help solve this problem was to establish a whole pile of virtual offices. And uh, what that meant was on our website, we could list that we had an office in Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, Brisbane, Darwin, and so on. Uh, and how we did this was not to actually physically go and set up offices in all these places, but what we did was to uh, create uh, and set up uh, virtual offices. So different organizations uh, like uh, Servcorp, uh, Regis, uh, and also um, smaller other organisations like MBE. Um, they allow you to uh, have a name board in the front of the building uh, and they'll um, answer your phones, they'll receive mail, those sorts of things for a, a small monthly fee. And when you uh, happen to be in, say, Perth or Darwin or somewhere else, um, for an additional fee, you can use their meeting rooms and offices and, and um, uh, admin staff there to, to help you with your work. And so what it means is that you can put an address um, on your website and uh, you have an actual location in an actual building. And so if your client or potential client wants to go and uh, uh, see that your organization is actually there, um, they walk into the front, um, in the foyer of the building and they can see your, your business name um, and, uh, and the floor um, in the on the sign in the in the foyer. Okay, so what that does is it shows that you do have a presence in that location. Now, of course, uh, you need to be clear to your clients that you uh, operate a part-time office there, and in those instances, um, you don't always have uh, staff in that office, but um, you're always available via email and phone uh, and so on. And so, by using that sort of virtual office setup, um, that allow, uh, enables you to have a presence in a number of different locations um, and to, to include those details, that those addresses um, on your website, and that can help you um, appear bigger than what you actually really are. Uh, certainly what that helps you to do, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is that it gives uh, a level of comfort to clients who sometimes only want to deal with larger businesses, uh, they won't give a small business um, a fair go, and they won't give, an uh, give them an opportunity. And so certainly by appearing larger than what you really are um, can, can certainly help you get more work. Uh, certainly using a strategy, uh, what we often found, uh, I found was I was getting feedback from people, oh, fantastic, oh, you're in all of these locations, um, you must be a very large business. Uh, and, and so that's the perception that people have. You're not being deceptive or misleading in what you're doing, um, but by having uh, offices in a number of locations, uh, it creates the perception in the market that you are a, a national business that can work um, nationally and have a presence in all of these locations. So uh, if you want to appear bigger than what you are, um, if you have that problem with clients, um, that's not a bad strategy to use. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments or any particular topics you'd like me to um, talk about in future videos, um, please uh, let me know and certainly uh, add any questions or comments um, uh, underneath this post. All the best and we'll uh, chat next week.